Hello guys and welcome to a new tip tutorial coming from motocookie.com. My name is Justin and today we're going to be discussing the creation of a car paint shader that can be used to render out your cars. So for the scene that I'm going to use, it's a preset scene, but it's as you can see it's a bit uh it's a bit modified, but you can uh you can unfortunately uh I won't be providing this scene because it's basically it's a modified version of the preset scene that that comes with the the Moto 501 content and it's the preset preset scene for from the from Yazan Malkosh and uh you can find it under uh, Luxology content samples presets and it's called preset scene uh Yazan now it's it's a bit modified nothing really uh fancy but it just it's modified just a little bit so we're going to be creating uh, some basic car paint uh, material that's going to look pretty good on um, on your car if you want to to see how how the the car paint shader will look you can take a look in the moto cookie gallery uh, there are a few car renders there by me and I'm basically using the same shader uh, of course uh, the shader is customized for the scene, um, for, for the the scene that's rendered there. So I enabled my directional light because I want to add some specular flakes in this uh, on this car. So I'm gonna enable my directional light, but I'm gonna change it from physical sun. I'm gonna change it to normal, and I'm gonna change it. Uh, I don't want it to f to have any shadows and I want it only to affect the specular okay so it will affect just the specular and it will affect it by 50 percent so now I'm going to modify the material in case now you can uh, let's just pick a color here uh, let's, let's pick pink okay well actually no let, let's go with the CG cookie orange okay so the CG cookie orange but we won't a lighter orange kind of like that because what we're going to do now is we're going to add a gradient which we're going to modify so the input parameter uh, parameter incidence is okay so we're going to uh, add another key here with the middle mouse button and I'll put it to 100% and now the 100% uh, here means that the most outer edge okay so we're going to be adding a light orange kind of like that to the most outer edge and in the middle here we want to have a reddish orange kind of like that and we're going to uh, we're going to set this to normal multiply that's going to give us a bit of a color variation in there and we can probably decrease that a little bit it was a bit too intense and we can bring this more towards orange so the difference is not very very big okay and now we're gonna add let's add the the, the flakes because basically they're they're very simple to add so we're gonna add some specular amount maybe five uh, we're gonna add a roughness of 80% okay maybe even more like 85 and we can increase the specular here and I'm gonna put it up I'm gonna overdo it for now and make sure you have conserve energy turned off okay so I'm gonna put 25 specular and I'm going to add a noise layer and change the size of the noise layer to something small like 100 UM. Okay, and that's pretty small. So we're going to we're going to change this to basic channels specular color. And that's going to give us a bit of a flake mimic right there and maybe we can increase the
contrast of this. So we're going to put the bias at 40 and the gain at 80. And we're going to get a bit of more uh, contrast. And we can probably put the specular amount to 30% and the reflect uh, the Fresnel to 100. Okay, let's play with the size a bit. And of course, the the size is scene dependent so if your car is not modeled to scale you would probably need to change this to match the scale of your scene okay so let's change this to 200 um okay and we're gonna add another layer this uh, this time it's going to be cellul cellular okay and we're gonna change the scale of this to 150 um okay this one needs to be bigger so we can get some of that okay and we're going to change this again to specular color and we're going to change it to add and we're going to change the opacity to 50% okay and that's going to give us a bit of a, a variation in there and maybe we can lower the specular intensity to 20. Okay, now <clears throat> since we added the, we needed the roughness of this to be quite high for the specular. Now, if we are to enable reflection, let's just put 10% reflection, and then enable blurry reflection, our reflections will be very, very blurry. Okay, so we cannot use blurry reflections because we need to use a lower roughness number. Instead, what we're going to do, we're going to fake the blurriness of the reflection using a bump map, a, a bump map that's going to break the reflection. So, what we're going to do, first of all, is to go here and change the reflection. We're going to use, depending, you can modify this according to your scene needs, but I'm going to leave it at a value of 7. It's pretty neutral. And I'm going to put the Fresnel, I'm going to put it only at 5, so it won't be very, very big. And I'm going to change the reflection color to, no, actually I'm going to leave it at white. And I'm going to duplicate the gradient, and I change this to re reflection color. Okay, so that's not going to give us a, a very intense reflection. And we're going to leave it at normal. Okay, and we'll also change the colors a bit because the reflection color needs to be lighter than what we had. So we're going to go in here and we're going to change the saturation to something like that. But we need to match the colors a bit more closely to what we have. Okay, and now we need to change this to get back that orange color that we were aiming for. Okay, and now the diffuse. There we go, and we have the orange color back. So let me change this to oh it's set to final okay and now we can increase the reflection since we won't be having that much of a reflection okay that gives us those nice highlights and now we're gonna add the bump so we're gonna go to textures noise okay and this noise will be around one millimeter maybe less 500 um and we're going to change this to oops to bump and now we're going to see that we're getting a pretty ugly result well that's because the bump is very very intense so we're going to change this uh bump amplitude to 1 mm and it's still going to be very very intense but we're going to change the opacity of this to let's start very low like 10% and we're still getting a pretty bumped 
reflection, maybe five, a pretty bumped material, maybe five. And oops, we're getting closer. Two, one. And I'm happy with this. Maybe it can go even higher, 1.5, depending on what sort of reflection you're looking for. Okay, so now we change the reflection color and uh, the and the, the the blurriness. And now I'm going to to lower the reflection to 50%. Okay, so it's a bit blurry, uh, so it doesn't affect the reflection color that much. Okay, needs to be set to normal, the reflection color, and this one needs to be set to normal, multiply. There we go. That's why we were getting that weird color. And now we can lower our reflections again to 10. Okay, and now we also need to change the specular color. So we're going to duplicate the the reflection color gradient and we're going to change it to specular color and make sure you put it above everything and let's change this opacity to 100 and see how it looks and it doesn't look too bad but we need to put it maybe to add and then decrease this to 50% and then let's give it a more red and orange specular. Okay, let's leave it to normal. And hmm. Let's just see, maybe we get a different result with different layer modes. Okay, so we're gonna leave it to multiply with 30% opacity. Okay, and maybe I think that this noise of specular color is a bit too intense. So I'm going to put it to 70%. Okay. And that's it for the coloring. And we have blurry reflections on. We have this um, uh, flakes, these flakes. Now we have some reflection, but what it really uh, sells car paint is the Fresnel and the clear coat. So uh, fortunately, with the uh, Moto 401, I think, or 402, can't remember, maybe even 501, uh, the clear coat amount was introduced into the Material Editor. So before that, we had to create a separate uh, group, separate material to be to act as the clear coat. So now we can just go in here and type clear coat and we're gonna get a clear coat on the material. Now 100% is a bit too much because we have the reflection set to 10% so we can either lower the clear coat or lower the reflection. I'm gonna choose to lower the clear coat to about 60% and I'm also going to lower the reflection to 6% Okay. And next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to add a new gradient. And this one's going to be black and white. And I'm going to leave it as the fuse color. I'm going to duplicate it. And the first one, I'm going to set it to multiply. And change the opacity to 50. And then on the next gradient, I'm going to invert it and I'm going to set it to reflection amount. And I'm going to put it on normal multiply and change it to 50% opacity. And now I'm starting to see that the noise may be a bit too big. So I'm going to try and half it. Okay, and I'm going to change the opacity to 1.
and I'm starting to like this material. Now, if, if you want to change the color of this, you would of course have to go through all of these gradients that control the color in order to achieve a different color. Because if we were to change this to, say, green, we would get a green material, but the, the reflection color and the specular color, color will be off. So let's just say we want to change it to, to this color, to this green. Well, well, then we would have to go in here to the reflection uh, ref reflection color and edit the gradient and start adding in some green values. Okay, now depending on your on your taste or uh, on what your your client wants. Okay, and edit this again and try to to stay within the 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 settings of the gradient. I mean, if you have a lighter color here, make sure you put a lighter color. Um, if you change it, don't put a darker color or something different. So, specular color, and that's okay. And we change the color to green. Now, this renders pretty, pretty uh, fast because the scene is, of course, optimized. And you're going to see that we get a pretty decent car paint. Now, I'm not a very big fan of flakes, but uh, I saw some some requests and a lot of people asking for uh, how do you do flakes in a car. Now this is the only uh, the only method that I know to create uh, car paint with, with, with flakes. But like I said, I'm not a really big fan. So if you don't want flakes, all you have to do is disable the specular color gradients or just disable the specular color and that's it and you're still gonna get some pretty uh, decent car paint so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the specular on okay and I'm gonna call it done thanks for watching and I hope this was useful and I'll see you next time